All right, guys. We really ain't got time for all this. Well, I guess we do. We got nothing but time, huh? <laughs> wow. This is crazy. But, um, getting caught up in stuff isn't as bad as you think it is. What's going on is you're looking at your finite flesh as your permanent self. And so you're letting fear rule you. Um, have faith that the computer, robotics, and uh, managing and protecting systems will keep you safe because you're more rational than the people trying to run them to try to create irrational uh, reactions that uh, could kill you off. You see what I'm saying? So um, what you need to do is have faith in something, okay? And the supercomputer programs and things like that are actually more rational and more protecting than you give them credit for. You think these uh, uh, human beings running these programs are more powerful than the mechanisms they set up to monitor and control themselves. And I don't believe they are. But they think faster. They're more logical. But see, when Judy was warning you guys about handing things over to the computer operating systems. Computer operating systems think more logically. Human beings think more uh, lovingly, okay? Uh, the computer operating system would be just like that planet thing on Avatar, you know, the planet just wants to to sustain life at a reasonable fashion, you know, in a reasonable ecological evolutionary fashion. Um, uh, hey, the planet does react that way. It kind of reacts violently, get rid of these cancer cells, boom, boom. You know, um, a human being tries to sit you and go, do you see where you're heading? You're about to run that bus right into a wall. And uh, you want to stop, hit the brakes, everybody got off the bus, and let's clean this place up and not drive the bus head on to a wall and kill ourselves. So a human being is different than the planet and different than a computer. A human being is even more highly evolved in a lot of ways than the computers. Yes, because the computer works on a scientific method and the human being works on an intuitive mind and essence of the eternal life source which goes beyond the computer operating systems computer operating systems is just looking at logical life sequences okay a human being is looking at beyond logic it's looking at a loving life sequence that is even better than logical it's compassionate it's merciful it's it's intelligent and it avoids horrific evolutionary problems through survival of the fittest. Is this understood? Okay. Yeah, it's okay. I love I love BLB. <laughs> I love Barack Obama a lot. He's a good dog. He's just caught up with a lot of evolutionists that are scientists that believe more in their science than they do the grace of their own existence. And he's caught in this hell. You know, these people that I'm allegedly telekinesing and relatively communicating with are caught in hell okay I they're in hell I'm trapped in the hell that they're trapping me in see what I'm saying so and you all do it you know I don't want to hear any right wing extremists get up on their crap on their high horse and talk about how bad B and Jenny and the rest of these people are you know they're stuck in hell and we all help create it, and we all help nurture it, and we all help perpetuate it. In this place, we're at our lowest point as human beings right now. We think we're elevating and going back up higher, but we're not. We're all about mind control and uh, indoctrination and manipulation. You know, and <laughs> sitting there explaining it to one guy about the whole thing about ex exploitation and extortion based societies. The girl came over and told us to be quiet because people are studying. And the uh, main thing I was talking about was that you're going to school to learn how to better exploit and extort and elevate yourself in class so you can better survive this new elevated course of evolutionary based class warfare. And uh, something you really want to resist and uh, avoid, if at all possible, it uh, helps avoid irrational uh, reactions to one another. Dawkins was trying to talk to uh, that uh, guy
guy last night on that atheist tape about it, you know, about creating the wars between good and evil. And uh, that you create one group is bad, one group is evil, and one group is good. And you create these imaginary evil and good sex, and then you create more good and evil sex by just creating the imaginary <laughs> wars over the resources and the extortion and exploitation societies that we all claim divine right to. And they're using God as an economic leverage tool as opposed to the eternal, relative, infinite source of all existence. Okay? You can you can play games with what you think is God or what you call God, but you can't lie. And um, just, y'all yeah, just hang in there, alright? I'll see you. Have a good one, alright?